Welcome back to another episode with Reverse Engineered. In today's video we are finishing all the bodywork on this car to get it one step closer to wrapping it. We are this close of getting the car wrapped. No, this close? Wait a second. We are theoretically this close to getting it wrapped, but that doesn't make any sense. In reality, we are this much closer to getting it wrapped. We're going to start on the driver's side first. We're going to take the door off because the door got damaged when the fender came in. It pushed it towards the door and whoever opened the door bent the door in. There's a long line down here. There's also a dent in the back. We're going to try a painless dent repair method on that. Next, we're going to do the A pillars on both sides. The driver's side looks better than the passenger. You've got a little bit of paint chipping, some little bit of dents, it's going to be no problem to take care of. The passenger side looks a little bit worse than the driver's. There's a little more dent on this side. We're going to have to use the proper tools to get that taken care of. And last but not least, we're going to have to take out the windshield. Let's get started with the driver's door. So this is the rod that we're using to push back that dent and uh, get the metal flat into its uh, original position. We are using this dent puller to fix the driver door.
Hey, we are here at Lowe's looking for a contour gauge. Let's go and find one. Aha, we found what we're looking for. We'll show you what we use this once we get home. We are back. Let's go and get some measurements. We are getting the contour off of this part that wasn't damaged. I'm gonna do it here closer to the lip. Let's see how much we're off on the other one in the garage. Here, come closer, Sammy. Getting this on the camera? All right, so we still have to knock on this side here, the middle, and push it that way. If you can see here on the contour, how it's off here and here, and it's a high spot here in the middle. So that means we have to knock this out and get it as close as possible to this contour gauge. We have finished straining out the metal and the door and now the next step is to prep the surface for bondo. The bando has fully hardened and right now it's time to start sanding it. And uh, if we need another coat, we'll apply another much finer coating of the bando if that's needed. So let's get this done.
I'm going to apply grease and wax remover over this area where I bonded and uh, sanded and uh, that's going to show me the reflection and it'll tell me if the bondo work came out good. So what I do right now, I run th this uh, rod through it and uh, if I don't see any waviness in it, that means it's good to prime. Yeah, it looks good to me. We have finally finished the bundle work on this Ford Focus ST. The next step is to clean all the surfaces and prep for primer. Primer has finally cured. Next step right now is to start sanding off these uh, edges here and uh, same here on the door. And uh, that's gonna be done with when sanding on a 400 grit paper. I am finally done with uh, sanding the door. I sanded off the hard edges here on this side and the bottom also went over the entire paint the entire primed area to get it smooth and uh, now I'm done with this and so right now I'm gonna move to the pillar Body work has been completely finished on this car. Next step right now is to start taking off that windshield. But before we do that, we have to cover the dashboard with a cloth so we don't get any of that glass inside of the car. Let's poke this through to the other side, this cutting wire. And now on this step, you have to be careful not to crack the windshield. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we're in. That was actually really easy to get into it. I think it was that thick, maybe that thick. Half an inch of caulking bead. You're going inside and grab the other end.
So the windshield is finally out. We managed to get it out without causing any damage to the dashboard or the headliner or the roof line itself or any of the pillars on the sides. Come get a closer look here. We managed to put a cardboard piece to cover the VIN number. Then we got the wire around it nicely and there's zero damage around here whatsoever. Same for the headliner and other roof line. No scratches, yeah. No scratches here on the pillars, the roof line. We also need to remove this rear view mirror. Then we'll get to it. You need, you need some kind of a screwdriver or something? I don't know, I've never seen this before. It, it looks like it's some kind of a clip or something. Yeah, I need I'll a flathead go, screwdriver. I'll go and bring you one. Looks like we did not need any screwdriver for that. I'm here, to take it off. Only when we put it back on, on the new windshield. Yeah, at least. I think it's just gonna snap back on. Yeah. It has two level sides over there, that side and on the other one. Yeah, I'm just gonna go on like this. And this just snaps into place on the new one. That's it. Perfect. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. If you missed out on our last episode, make sure you click here to watch that. If you want to see what our next video is about, make sure you subscribe and turn on your post notifications. Leave a comment down below and like this video and share it. And follow us on Instagram at ReverseEngineered1. And on that note, I'm going to leave you guys off with an inspirational quote which states the following. You'll learn more from your failures than from your successes. Stay positive.